Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over TickTick. Yes, that's right. I am back with TickTick, and it's all coming up next. So as you see here, I have TickTick opened up, and you're saying, but Jerry... I thought you got rid of TickTick. I thought you left TickTick, went to the Google world and lived happily ever after. Or was it Notion? I don't even know at this point. All I know is I'm back with TickTick. Yes, that's right. Actually, I did leave TickTick for a while and Google Calendar for a while and went over to uh, Notion. But, um, and when Notion came out with their new calendar app, which by the way was pretty pathetic, um, I chose to jump ship sort of with my tasks and go back over to TickTick. Actually, to be honest with you, I went to Structured first and I like Structured apps, but um, I really, there's something about TickTick I really like. Uh, just the uh, way the um, calendar integration uh, inside of TickTick uh, with my other, um, you know, with the Google Calendar or actually. Believe it or not, I've left Google Calendar and went to Apple Calendar. So it's just integration-wise, I think it just seems to fit me a little bit better. Uh, so I left and decided to just, you know, take a chance at TickTick again and see how that works. And it's been really working out really well. I like some of the enhancements that they've uh, done. Uh, I am still using Notion, although I have... Um, in Notion, I have uh, done things a little bit differently. I am, uh, obviously, I don't have tasks in there unless it's a project. I'll have project tasks. But I basically, um, in my Apple Calendar, I only put events in there. So if I have an appointment or going somewhere, um, I'll put that in there. Um, but outside of that, everything goes into Tick Tick as far as my to-do list items. And why did I leave Notion? Now, I mean, Notion does to-do lists, right? Well, the problem I found was is that Notion has an issue with reoccurring tasks. And I was finding myself constantly moving tasks to another day because I w didn't realize that they were um, needing to be done. Uh, so let's say, for instance, I had a reoccurring task like every week to do whatever, right? And so that day comes. And all of a sudden it pops up into my, you know, my today list view inside of Notion. And I'm like, man, I, I forgot that that was due today, you know, because in Notion, you can't look at your calendar and tell where those reoccurring tasks are going to lie. Because when you click one or move it, you got to move it to another day once you're done with it. So you never get a good bird's eye view. But with Tick Tick, if I have reoccurring tasks in there, if I look at the calendar view, I can see those reoccurring tasks on next week or two weeks from now, or maybe a year from now. I can see it what day they're on. And with Notion, you can't do that, period. And so that was a breaking point for me. I just got tired of dealing with it. I could never get my reoccurring tasks, could never figure out how to get that taken care of. Sure, I could have done this time blocking thing, but be honest with you, time blocking never really worked for me. Just, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe it works for some people. Their brains are uh, wired that way. But I just never really could get into the whole um, time blocking thing. So, you know, uh, I would always be shocked when these recurring tasks happen. And then I had to say, well, this recurring task is important or is it not important? And then I push it off to another time. And I was always never getting anything done. Now that I'm back with Tick Tick, I can schedule this a lot better and manage my time a lot better inside of tick tick just by the pure fact that it shows me my reoccurring tasks when they're due you know like tomorrow i can go and look at my calendar and see and switch some stuff around right but with notion i could not do so and not even with their fancy dancy little calendar app uh yeah that's just cron that says notion now on it so granted the calendar app was kind of cool when i first came out i thought oh this is pretty neat you know you can attach your projects to your little calendar events and you 
takes you over to the ocean. Yeah, that was kind of quirky, but it uh, sort of kind of worked. Uh, but, you know, without knowing when my recurring tasks are going to be, and I have a lot of them, you know, because you got, what, I got, uh, you know, uh, things that I have to put out, like, you know, my damp red that I put out because I have allergies, and so I put some of this out to keep the uh, moisture down in my room and this and that. So that's every six weeks. I got, you know, registration for my cars and, you know, my license when it's due. You know, I got tons and tons of reoccurring tasks. And I'll just give you a, an example. If you look here in Tick Tick, I have 44 reoccurring tasks on personal alone. For my day job, I have 30 reoccurring tasks. I kind of need to know when they're coming up so I can plan for them. I don't need to know the day of when I wake up in the morning, I look at my today. Oh my gosh, why is the thing 20 miles long? You know, <laughs> I mean, um, so if notion ever gets that worked out and granted, I know there's a lot of people that come up with all these, well, you can use Zapier and all these automated things to try to finagle it. And you got to do all this programming and all this stuff to try to get, no, I don't want to do that. I just don't want to. I, I just don't want to. So if Notion ever gets that um, recurring task nonsense um, taken care of, I might do my task back in it. Because it really is handy to doing your tasks in there. Because, you know, you set up, let's say, I, I need to call this business um, tomorrow, right? You can attach uh, the, uh, the contact link of this inside of Notion, uh, you know, in that task. So you can just go right to it and say, oh, yeah, there's the phone number. And this is the contact number, And here's the person I last talked to. It's very handy. But for a reoccurring test was my breaking point where I had to just give it up. So um, I am back with Tick Tick. I know this is basically just me talking, um, showing you a little bit of uh, some of the stuff that I got inside of uh, Tick Tick here. But it is very handy. Like I say, I can uh, go to the calendar view if I want. Right now I'm on agenda view, but I can go over here to uh, the week view. I can also go to a nice little three-day view, which I really love. And so, like, for instance, you know, um, I have this prepare lunch. So I, I, I know I'm going to eat lunch at this time. It's sort of kind of like time blocking in a way, I guess. But these are just reoccurring tasks that show up here, Right. And so I know that I need to get them done. And the reoccurring task, you can see it, there's a little uh, circular thing right here next to the time. So, you know, it's a reoccurring task. Then I have some other things in here. Like I say, even my appointments on my Apple calendar come over here and feed into here as well. Um, so I can have an idea of what I'm getting done and what I need to get done. And it lays it out really nicely for me so I don't have any issues. Another cool thing I like about it also is, is like, for instance, in morning routines, I have these little things that I need to get done, right, for my morning routine. Well, when I click those off, after I click off the last one, it actually marks this as complete and moves it, you know, and then obviously it'll be out of here. And now I'm still here on, on, this, on this day, on the Saturday. So my morning routines that are repeating uh, still show up, but without these checked. So it's pretty cool that I can put little subtasks or little uh, sub things in here that I need to get done inside of that. And it's really, really helpful. And it's not really even a subtask because subtasks also have dates and this um, tick tick can also do that. But these are like just little tasks inside of the main task. Kind of a subtask, but not really. And so these are very, very handy to do. And so this is the reason why I love Tick Tick. I should have never left, you know, but I'm back now. So uh, there's where we're at. So in the next few episodes, I'll be coming out with more and more things about Tick Tick and uh, showing you all my, um, the way I do things, the way I structure things inside of Tick Tick. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you all enjoyed this little talking uh, um, tutorial because I really didn't show you much, but I did want to kind of tell you where I'm heading now with Tick Tick. I really love it. And um, I'm back. So if you all enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these episodes in the near future, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you next episode. Take care. Bye.